yo guys welcome back to another video so again in today's video i would be teaching you guys this strategy that i've confirmed to be very effective and profitable so far price action trading is concerned this strategy is called the trend line strategy so on implementing this strategy we will be working with the higher time frames firstly we'll be spotting the market's trends on the higher time frame we'll be spotting the previous trend and the current trend so on the daily time frame on vix 51s index we've got the market on a downtrend creating lower highs and lower lows formation so this is the previous trend basically which we need to spot first then we spot the current trend so the trend which we'll be working with is the current trend and we can see the market is an uptrend on this daily time frame creating higher highs and higher lows formation so how do we identify the market's trend firstly you spot two highs and two lows and these highs and lows should either be higher than each other or lower than each other so on identifying the first trend the previous trend we've got the market create a high here which we need to spot the first high is at this point then we've got another high here a lower high this is called a lower high because the previous high is higher than the current high let me check the price value of these highs price value of the previous high is 204,737 that's the price value of the previous high and the price value of the current high is at 192,400 0.18 so you can see the price value of the first high that's the previous high is higher than the price value of the current high which we named the current high first calling it a what a lower high low highs and lower lows formation so we've got the market create a low here but to spot the lows next so we got the first low here and the second low let's spot them first low at this point and the second low a lower low so the market has created two lower highs and two lower lows formation so now we can confirm that the market is on a downtrend so after this confirmation we we'll spot the trend levels trend support levels nitro resistance levels and when spotting this we should at least make sure that two points are matching up like we've got here price tested this trend resistance level sold and sold again bought here and bought so we've gotten to test of these levels now coming to the current trend we've got two higher lows and two higher highs having the first low second low a higher low let's spot it right for reference purpose first highs first lows there sorry under low a higher low and we've got a high here we've got a high at this point and another high here a higher high so this is a confirmation that the market is in an uptrend and we've got our levels supported our trend support level and our trend is not level supported so we are done with the time frame next we go to the forward time frame to also support the trend we've got on the forward time frame so we are spotting every trend the market created because we're working with these trends basically we'll be working with the current trend we'll be spotting both the previous trend and the current trend so we've got these are the previous trend that market was creating higher highs and higher lows on this forward time frame market data so we've got another trend here which is also the past trend remember we spotted an uptrend market on the daily time frame and on the forward time frame we've also got some trends which we have to spot instead of this uptrend market these trends are called counter trends like the opposite direction of the overall trend we spotted on the daily time frame the previous higher time frame so we've got the market moving into original direction which is the buys the upward direction because the market is currently in an uptrend on the current market trend on the daily time frame so we've got the market on a downtrend here this is the counter trend between lower highs and lower lows formation and we've also got the, the main trend the main market direction which we also call the impulsive move or the major move in this uptrend market then we've got this as well counter trend which price was creating lower highs and lower lows formation so when we go back to the first trend on this index we can see that we've got some similar formations because when we're analyzing the market using price action analysis price action market approach we work with historical movement we work with past movements in the market we use what happened previously in the market to predict what would happen next in the market so we've got the market in an uptrend here in a downtrend uptrend downtrend so the next trend we expect should be what an uptrend market that's how this market has been moving firstly uptrend secondly downtrend thirdly uptrend fourthly downtrend fifthly we should expect what price to be in an uptrend at this point so right now we are looking out for buy opportunities we expect the buys on this index so all we need is a proper break of this downtrend market for 
the buys to look out for your buy opportunity. So we've got the market on the one hour time frame because that's the next time frame we analyze. We've got this uptrend market which we are looking to buy in the market in because we spotted the previous trend on the four hour time frame to be a downtrend market and we need the current trend. We expect the current trend to be what an uptrend market. Right now, I'll be expecting price to sell to any possible level for the buys because I'm looking out for buy opportunity. If price can sell into the zone, I'll be looking for a good buy opportunity on the VIX 151S index. Having that, I expect the buys on this index a little drop to that level, a potential level, a historical level of gold. I'll be expecting the buys on this index. Same past reactions here, support, support here, resistance, resistance. Which this level got broken turn this level of resistance to a support level automatically because price is above this level so if you can see price selling to this level a little bit would be having a good buy opportunity on the vix 151s index because looking at the structure on the four time frame we expect the market to be in a bullish trend so we have to look out for buy opportunities on the vix 151s index so a little test of this zone which is a level in the market we have to buy because our entries would come on levels, past levels, basically. So this will be my buy zone on the VIX 151S index. So right now, I'll be looking for a good buy opportunity on this zone. So if price can sell into this level, I'll be buying this index. And you also got a trend, which means to take note of on the 15 minutes time frame. Same price, create lower highs and lower loads formation. So the market would sell to our zone in a downtrend market. Then the move we expect next should be what? An uptrend market. So at this point, we shouldn't be trading, we shouldn't be placing any trade. We should wait for price to sell into the zone fully before we look for buys on some good confirmations like reversal patterns on a lower time frame on the zone. So I expect the buys on 51S index. So if I'm to take the buys on this index, regards to this strategy, working with this market's approach, I would update you guys on the result of this trade. So for more trade things like this, do also smash this like button and drop a good comment on this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to channel and to my channel viewers. I appreciate the support for engaging my videos. Give me a lot, guys. Let's do more and to have another for the.